KPIX 5's Andrea Nakano continues our team coverage with what caused a huge explosion and fire that threatened a Martinez neighborhood. Andrea? Yeah, Liz, tonight PG&E crews are on top of that hill trying to fix some damage caused to the power lines by the flames. Confire telling us tonight that it was three kids playing with a small fire that started this blaze. And this is something that firefighters have been extremely concerned about. A small fire being fueled by winds, then destroying a home. Explosions rocked this Martinez community just east of 680 around 2 this afternoon. Chopper 5 captured footage of intense flames ripping through a home, a storage shed, and a number of cars parked on the property. They had so many cars and so many things uh, across the way. It was always very cluttered up there. Um, so it's it's uh, devastating how quickly things like that can happen. Jesus Perez and his family live just yards away from the burning home. He learned about the fire after getting a frightening call from his mother. <laughs> she called me while I was at work and she said the house is on fire. And I, I got confused. I thought she meant our house. His house was one of about a dozen saved thanks to the quick work by firefighters. Our initial units on scene immediately called for more resources because the fire was perhaps being driven by the wind. Con fire spokesperson Steve Hill says the department has been preparing for fires like this one for the last year. With the extremely dry conditions and the wind, the goal is to keep fires from getting out of control by quickly throwing out as many available resources on them as possible. But firefighters admit they need help. They urge the community to create defensible space to buy them time to save homes. We're expecting to have a challenging fire season, so we're planning for the worst, hoping for the best, uh, and we ask all of our residents and everyone across the region to do the same to help us together. If we work together, uh, we can get through this fire season. Andrea, what happened to the kids that you mentioned? Yeah, those three kids were released to their parents, and mm -hmm. luckily no one was injured in this fire, Liz. Yeah, luckily. All right, Andrea, thank you.